Hello, book nerds. It's me again, doing book-related videos again. I'm trying to get back to doing book content. Even though I hate the word content. Uh, I'm trying to talk about writers and books again like I used to on this channel, so here we go. We're talking about Man Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. I uh, love Stephen Graham Jones. He's one of my favorite writers. Um, he's one of the best writers working today. And this novel is it's more of a novella. It's very good. And, um, and, um, yeah, it's very good. It's, uh, on the surface about, uh, a group of kids who play a prank using a mannequin. The mannequin doesn't like it, comes to life, starts terrorizing them. And our main character, Sawyer, decides to take matters into his own hands by eliminating his friends first before Manny, the mannequin, can come get them. And, um, it's very, it's a, it's a very kind of quiet horror story but there's a lot of suspense there's, it's very dark it's very kind of twisted but there's also a lot of comedy and there's a lot of suspense and a lot of horror and it's all kind of these things rolled into one and uh stephen graham jones um does that in everything he does he knows how to write stuff that's funny and scary that's uh, suspenseful uh that's ironic and all colin kind of puts them all into one story and um and he's very good at writing uh, coming-of-age stories, too, which this also is. Um, his novel Mongrels was a great coming-of-age horror story. His novel Growing Up Dead in Texas is a great coming-of-age story. Um, and he's just very good at writing about young people and kind of and how they're figuring out their place in society and play, figuring out their place in the world, kind of figuring out their place kind of and where they stand and where they fit into uh, the societal hierarchy and kind of accepting these things. And um, he, he captures how kids, like, you know, really feel and how they really talk, you know, with each other when adults are away and stuff like that. And um, the thing I like about this story is it's a very psychological kind of thriller uh, because <clears throat> you never actually see Manny, like, moving around or walking or anything or talking. You always just see where he's been. You always just see what he's done. You always just see the remaining evidence of what many had done when he like tore up a, you know a flower shed or something and so it's heavily implied and it could be interpreted either way that Manny may or may not actually be alive and doing these things these could all just be in the mind of our narrator Sawyer and which leads even more of a, a creepy idea that Sawyer is unnecessarily killing his friends because he's doing it delusionally, thinking that this mannequin is alive and trying to kill them. When in fact, it may just be in his head and he's doing it for no reason, and he's just doing it uh, because he's disturbed, because he's delusional. And it's written to where it could be read either way, which I really like. I like that you could easily read it as like, yeah, a mannequin has come to life, and it's taken revenge on a group of teenagers. Or you could equally read it and also, you know, be just as correct by reading it as um, a teenager is uh, has mental issues, and uh, because he's delusional, he's decided to do what he thinks is the right thing by killing his friend one by one because of a phantom mannequin. So you could either read it in either way, and it still works, and it would still, I think, equally be correct. And I don't know what Stephen Graham Jones himself has said on the subject, but I think even he would be like, yeah, that's right, you, you know, either one's correct. I think if you went to him and uh, stated it like, um, I read your novel and it was great that it was a story about a mannequin killing his group of friends, he'd be like, oh, cool, I'm glad you like it. And I think you could also go to him and be like, I really liked your novel because it was a psychological horror story about this kid who, uh, through his delusions, decided to kill his friends because of a mannequin that's not alive. And I still think you would be like, oh, cool, I'm glad you like it. So <laughs> I think I think either one's valid. And I think, I think you know, it's written in such a way to where I think that was the intention, to where he wanted you to read it either way. Oh my God, my camera's slipping. Oh no, don't fall, camera, don't fall. Oh shit. <laughs> Please stand by. Stay. <laughs> okay. Technical difficulties aside, I, I hope I'm getting my point across of how I think this is a good book. 
and the reasons why I think it's interesting. And if you want something fast, this is a really fast read. It's a novella. I don't think it, I think it's like 90 pages, maybe just over the 100 page mark. Um, something you can easily read through. The chapters are short. Uh, the writing is very sweet, uh, short and sweet to the point, which all of Stephen Graham Jones's writing is like that. Um, you know, he writes very short, uh, succinct sentences. He doesn't like write lengthy paragraphs describing things. He just gets to the point and you're on to the next thing. <clears throat> and he's a very good storyteller. Uh, he imbues a lot of uh, humor. He imbues a lot of like heart. He imbues a lot of like real feeling and real emotion and, um, you know, the real human drama amidst, you know, supernatural things or horror situations. Uh, and I think that's what makes this stuff good is that he can take any premise, no matter how far-fetched or crazy it might sound, and make it work. He knows how to write things that on paper sound silly, but when you actually read it, they're terrifying or they're funny or, or they're full of like sentimentality and, you know, and, and you know, empathy and all at the same time, and you know, it's all three. And everything else I've read by him has been really good at that and really good at kind of combining all these things into one story. Um, <clears throat> his novel Mongrels, which I did a review on uh, a few years ago, was like that. It's a coming of age story about a boy raised by werewolves and how he hasn't become one yet but is still waiting on it and in kind of their place in society and how they're always kind of outcasts and they move from place to place and um and how he's kind of growing up like that and kind of figuring out what he believes and what he thinks about it and kind of accepting his own kind of lot in life with his uh, aunt and uncle who are raising him and um <clears throat> or his mom and uncle i think and um, it's a very interesting set novel is a horror story. It's a coming of age story. It's um, uh, an experimental novel, all kind of rolled in one. <laughs> it has a lot of interesting stuff. And by far, it's the best werewolf story I've ever read. And Night of the Mannequins is the best uh, horror mannequin story I've ever read. <laughs> or at the very least, it's the best story I've read in that kind of tradition of stories about dolls or puppets or anything like that coming to life because it's written in such a way to where like it could work on that level but yes the mannequin's alive walking around and it's not your friendly mannequin but it could also equally work on the suspense level of like a Poe story where it's all on the character's head and so you know it's up to you and I, rec I re highly highly recommend this um I also just recommend anything Stephen Graham Jones has done and he's put out a huge you know body of work uh, he's, written, he's published several short story collections, several novels, several novellas, and they're all great. Um, and I haven't read all of them, but everyone, out of the ones I have read, they're all fantastic. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more uh, by him and to catch up on his back catalog of stuff that he's put out that I haven't read yet, which I must confess is actually quite a bit of stuff that I haven't got around to by him. Um, but yeah, everything I have read, is, he's knocked it out of the park. I truly think he's one of the best writers. And, and if you like horror, please do yourself a favor and read this guy. And even if you don't like horror, please do yourself a favor and read this guy because he's just a grand storyteller. He's just very good at what he does. And um, he brings a real passion and enthusiasm and humor to writing that, you know, I think a lot of people could take notes from and learn a few things from. So yeah, if you're looking for something that's kind of suspenseful, creepy, twisted, funny, and even empathetic and compassionate, this is your this is your story. Night of the Mannequins. Check it out. Uh, and even if it's not Night of the Mannequins, just read anything by Stephen Graham Jones. The Last Final Girl, Growing Up Dead in Texas, Mongrels, Lead Feather, Mapping the Interior, anything. Just if it's by him, just check it out. So anyways, that's my uh, long video. Um, our kind of long-ish video about Stephen Graham Jones and Night of the Mannequins uh, with technical difficulties in there for some fun and uh, I hope you read this I hope you uh, you know buy it whether in a bookstore or online uh, you know and help him you know be able to write more you know support him so, you know support your support your writers especially indie writers like Stephen Graham Jones 
Um, because <clears throat> indie writers need all the support they can get, you know, to create great, uh, fiction, you know. So, that's my little PSA at the end here, is support writers, and especially support indie writers. And while you're at it, support Stephen Graham Jones. So, check it out!